Begin in downward facing dog. On an inhale, round the upper back and roll forward to high plank pose. As you exhale, soften the knees, keep them hovering off the earth and sweep the hips up and back. Inhale, roll forward to high plank. Exhale, bend the knees and circle the hips up and back to down dog. One more with your own breath. Inhaling forward and exhaling the hips back and up. Inhale to lift the right leg high into the air. Exhale, step it softly between the hands, and then step the back foot in so both heels easily come to the floor. Either the hands can stay down or the fingers interlace behind the back of the left leg. Press down strongly through the left heel and use the belly muscles to draw the belly closer to the right thigh. Release the hands, bring them forward, and on an inhale, spring up onto the right leg, lifting the back leg to hip height, hands to heart center. Exhale, squeeze the inner thighs together to tap the toes to the back of the heel. Inhale, lift the leg. Exhale, tap the toes. Inhale, lift the leg. Keep it strong. Exhale, tap the toes. This time on your exhale, bend the knee into the chest and stand up. Place both hands on the left thigh and press down, resisting the pressure, and then cross the left ankle over the right knee like a figure four and fold forward. Bend the standing leg and stick the tailbone back to get a deep outer hip stretch. You can stay right here or if Ekapadagalavasana, flying pigeon, is in your practice, go ahead and move into the arm balance. Pressing the left leg strongly into the arms to lift the right leg high up and back. Wherever you ended up, slowly make your way back to one-legged dog, left leg lifted high. Inhale, roll forward to one-legged plank. Exhale, lower one-legged chaturanga and then inhale, sweep the heart through upward facing dog. Exhale, draw the low belly in to arrive in downward facing dog. Neutralize the body for a few breaths. Second side, inhale, sweep the left leg high into the air. Exhale, lightly step through between the hands. Step the back foot in till the heel is grounded and then fold forward over the front leg. Hands either stay on the floor or reach back behind you to interlace behind the right thigh. Either way, keep the right heel strongly grounded into the earth. Pour weight through the right heel. Use the belly muscles to draw the upper body closer to the left thigh. Keep the spine long, reaching through the crown of the head. On an inhale, hands to chest and spring forward, lifting the right leg to hip height. Exhale, slow to tap the heel. And inhale to lift the leg. Keep moving with your breath. Keep the pelvis square to the floor, outer right hip rolling down. On your next exhale, bend the right knee into the chest and press down into the right thigh, resisting the pressure. And now finding your figure four, cross the right ankle over the left knee, bend the standing knee, and release the hands down to the earth. Deep outer hip stretch. Keep the right foot flexed so that the knee is protected. And either stay right here, just folding forward, or move into Ekapada Galavasana. Only if it's already in your practice, attempting the arm balance. If you're in the arm balance, press the right leg down so the pelvis lifts, extending through the left toes, looking slightly forward. And then wherever you ended up, make your way back to one-legged down dog, sweeping the right leg high. Inhale, roll forward to one-legged plank. Exhale, lower through one-legged chaturanga. Then the right foot comes down to lift the heart, upward-facing dog. Exhale, hips go high up and back, downward facing dog. Taking a few breaths here, settling and neutralizing the body. Inhale, lift up high onto the toes. Exhale, soften the knees and walk or float between the hands. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, folding over the legs. Holding here for a few moments, holding the backs of the calves. Lengthen the spine, deepen the breath. 
And on an inhale, sweep the arms all the way up to stand. Watch the palms meet. Exhale, draw the hands to heart center.